Hey guys, it's me, the Halloween channel, and welcome to another haunt build. Not sure what number this is going to be, possibly number six or number seven, but it's a haunt build. Today we're going to be focusing on the outside portion. Um, this is probably going to be one of the last haunt builds, but um, we're going to be putting out... Why is my camera shaking? There we go. Um, so I'm going to be putting Mr. Dark out today and uh, doing a spiderweb tunnel in uh just a small spider web tunnel in like uh one section of uh in, in a little outside section um and then uh i'm not going to be doing this today but later um i'm borrowing a uh i'm borrowing an easy up from my friends if you don't know what an easy up is it's this uh i'll put a picture of it up on screen but um it's this little tent thing it's going to be a carnival tent it's going to act like and we're going to pretend it's carnival tent and then uh, it's going to um, house Uncle Charlie and Hugs the Clown. Well, they're, it's not, they're not gonna really go under it. They're gonna go next to it. You know, the point is we're not doing that today. So, um, we're gonna do that, uh, next week probably. But right now we're focusing on spider web tunnels. So let's jump into a time lapse with that. This is uh, how it looks right now. Uh, it's pretty much done. Let me zoom out. Hold on, I have to go under this. Um, and this is uh, the tunnel thing. Uh, let me just walk you through what it looks like. So um, basically, ooh, almost hit on timely death. Um, basically, this is uh, the this is when you walk out of the garage and you got this guy to greet you. He's got, he's pretty beat up. We're probably going to throw him away some, like, next year. Um, but he's going to be in the haunt, uh, for his last year this year. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll keep him next year. But the point is, uh, he's, like, pretty beat up. So, this part is exposed. So, I'm going to probably cover that up with gauze or something so it doesn't look so stupid. It's going to be dark anyway, so you're probably not even going to be able to see him that well in the nighttime. But he's there, and he looks really cool. He, he looks kind of funky, um, because his legs are all squiggly. They don't really look like a real spider's legs. But, uh, he's fine. I'm sure he will scare people anyway. Um, and then we got spiderwebs going all above here. Um, I got a 400 square foot spiderweb bag, um, which did, did end up being, uh, more than enough. Um, I don't know if it was more than enough. It was just enough to, uh, get the effect I wanted. Um, I wanted to, uh, I was gonna have just have this way blocked off with, like, the trash cans. But, um... I can just block it off with the spider web. We'll probably put trash cans right here. We'll probably put them right here so nobody can get through. But I wanted to get this done right now. I don't know when this video is going to be done, but it is currently October 13th, uh, Wednesday, October 13th. So I don't know when this video is going to be out, but um, I'm doing this right now uh, just so I can have it ready for my Halloween party, which is in like three days. Um, and honestly, it looks really cool. And you're going, there's this guy. It's a custom prop my grandma made me. Um, and what happens is you go out, uh, right, oh, oh, and I just realized that's kind of a problem. You can't really get, <laughs> you can't really get through. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. Okay, so basically what you do, you go out here and then, um, there's going to be tarps here. Um, and it's just going to be like five feet tall tarps. And then you're going to walk out to Mr. Dark here. I'm pretty sure I've explained this before. But um, these poles are to hold the tarp. It's going to go right here along the back. And then we need one more pole here. But uh, we don't have uh, a stake for it. Like these ones, we put these little stakes in the ground. And we put these on there. Um, but uh, I don't know. This one's not too sturdy. That one, I have a brick. But this one's not too sturdy. And I ran out of bricks. It looks really cool, honestly. I really like it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what light I can put here. Um, so I'm actually gonna go, um, find a light, and then I'll be back when I found a light. Okay, so I'm back, and I, it's nighttime, as you can see, and I actually did a lot of stuff. So let me explain. Um, I just meant to do the lighting, but then I saw a bunch of stuff that would look really cool out here, so I kind of, like, put a ton of stuff out here. 
Uh, so let me just show you. So uh, if I zoom in, it gets better quality, but you can't see as much. Um, anyway, uh, we got the spider guy. And then I put this guy here. Um, and let me just actually, um, the lighting, first thing I want to say. I actually got two lights. They're the exact same type of light. Um, I don't know. Maybe one of them's slightly different. They're the same exact colors, but one of them's, like, newer, so it has a different kind of effect. Um, but, uh, you know, these lights are actually, I'm pretty sure they're Christmas lights. But they work fine for Halloween as well. And it's, it's like a fire and ice light from Spirit, but it's kind of, like, got, like, dots instead of, like, just blended together colors. They're kind of, like, little streaks. I don't know. Um, I have a blue one as well. Um just like these ones but it's all blue but i can't find it i'm not going to use it for the haunt for this haunt anyway but um i was just wondering where that blue one is it might be with the christmas stuff because that's also a christmas light but anyway there's a spider and this guy who i guess the story is the spider captured this guy and uh he's now dead and i don't know why the spider would put a cloak on a dead person but anyway um there's a spider up there and uh i put some body parts well not body parts i put some skeleton uh, parts everywhere, and I put this guy, um, there's also bone there, and a gravestone, just a random gravestone, and that skull right there. Um, th this guy is right here, and then, of course, this one, and this hand sticking out, and then the spiderweb tunnel. Uh, this, this light is shining over towards this area, and then that light is shining over, like, there. Um, and then the wires, as you can see, are kind of a mess. And then out here... We got the thunder strobe, which I know it is annoying. The sound it makes, it's kind of cheesy. And that light is the neighbor's light. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, it's going to be, it's really bright. And it's going to be going off when people walk here. There is going to be a little, like, tarp here. But it's only, like, five feet tall. So I don't know. Uh, it's it's going to be this tall. This is how tall the tarp's going to be. You can see the neighbor's uh, Halloween display as well. But uh, it's going to be up to here. So, like, it's only, it's only going to be up to, like, here, like, where this fence is about. And, um, you know, uh, I don't know if it's still going to activate the light, so hopefully it doesn't. But we're just going to have to deal with it. So Mr. Dark's going to go here, and uh, hopefully that light doesn't go off that often. Mr. Dark will have this flashing light on him, and uh, he'll just jump up to his, uh, like, 8 foot or 9 foot uh, heights, and it'll, uh, make people poop their pants. So, uh, that's that situation, and we got this power strip here, which turns off all these lights, um, and it's really messy, yeah, yeah, I get it, but, uh, that's fine, um, so, yeah, that's, uh, this portion of the hot build. Next, I'm gonna be doing, um, I'm gonna be, like, doing the little easy up thing that I don't know when I'm gonna have, I'll be able to, like, borrow that from my friend, so, uh, I'll get to you guys, uh, I'll get back to you guys later when I have gotten the easy up and we'll put that up and, uh, do the clown display and everything. So, I'll see you guys then. So, I'm back. It's been about a week since I filmed the previous clip. And there's been a major change to the front yard. I got the easy up. It's here. I thought I was gonna do the tarp for Mr. Dark. Candy? There's Uncle Charlie. <laughs> Uh, and it's right over there. It <laughs> fell over because of the wind. We have really extreme winds here. But that's going to go up the day before Halloween. That's actually not going to be in this haunt build. Oh, shoot. There's a car. Please don't hit me, sir. Sir, ma'am, please don't. Okay, thank you. Um, so, right here, uh, we got this up today. We, like, two days ago, like, on Sunday. It's currently Tuesday the 26th i believe and um this is probably gonna be the last clip of this video so this might be out like on wednesday the 27th um yeah, okay bump. charlie can you like shut up um so his motions out there is like really good like when you walk by here he automatically goes off and one lady was walking here with her dog and then it just and then it just set off <laughs> um so yeah, that was, uh, that was good. That's good how good his motion sensor is. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna give you a little walkthrough of what this looks like. So, this stuff, um, right here, um, we've got this spiral, uh, light. Just kind of has a red and orange pattern. Spins in circles. We got the gravestones. We got, 
uh, this stuff too. It's a power cord and then this extension cord. You might be wondering why it's here because it actually like leads to nothing. Um, but it's um, there's going to be a fog machine back here that just um, it's going to be behind some of the gravestones and then it's just going to like come out of nowhere. Um, okay, Charlie, can you shut up? I, I was saying something earlier. Oh yeah, so I I put the easy up today. I got it on Sunday. We borrowed it from a friend. But on Sunday, we got home pretty late because uh, we had to like drive uh, like an hour to get it because um, we were in uh, we were visiting visiting some friends and we picked the easy up uh, and we picked up easy up on the way home. Um, so on Sunday, I didn't get a chance to do it. And on Monday, because it was dark and on Monday, um, it was like raining super hard. So um, the stuff up there where the green light is, some of that stuff got like beat up, but it's OK. Um, we can rearrange it. Ooh, almost died. Um, almost fell down the curb, but I'm okay. Um, so yeah, uh, this is what it looks like. Just put it up today and it looks phenomenal. I am so pleased with it. It looks even better than I imagined. We got Hugs right here who, um, Charlie, I lost his adapter as a lot of you may know. I lost it last year when we moved into this house. Just, I have no idea where it went and I have several SBI props. Um, that have that adapter. So I have Wacky Mole, Flesh Eating Zombie from 2020, Hugs the Clown, and uh, Uncle Charlie are all the SVI props that I have, I think, or at least the ones that have the new adapters. So I might need to sacrifice one of them, and by sacrifice, I don't mean throw it away. I mean just uh, not use one of them in the haunt. I'll still use them as a static prop, but maybe Flesh Eating Zombie because he's not like an important part of the haunt. Uh, I might have to use his adapter for hugs. Um, because I really need Hugs to be on. Uh, I used Hugs' adapter for Charlie. Actually, I lost Hugs' adapter. His, his adapter was the one I lost. I just, uh, was, I'm just using it for Charlie right now. Um, but, uh, Hugs is the adapter that I lost. And I need, oh, wow, even that car sent him off. Charlie, your motion sensor is amazing. Thank you for being such a good sport. Um, can you, like, not, though? I'm trying to talk here. Uh, I need both of these guys to be uh, going off because um, they're, like, two of the main parts of the haunt, and they're, like, right in the front. Um, so it, it, it looks really cool. So basically, I'm um, sorry for that long rant, but let me just give you a walkthrough of what the... Um, what the outside portion of the haunt looks like. Because it's pretty much done except for the Mr. Dark section with the tarp. Also, my neighbors over there have some pretty good decorations. Look at that. So first up, it's this gravestone. Um, it doesn't It doesn't really, uh, it, its eyes light up. But that's not, it's not a lot. Um, the eyes, I think the eyes broken actually. I don't think the eyes light up anymore. But it's there, you can't see it at all. Uh, and then we have hugs. Because I actually just got Wacky Mole's adapter and plugged Hugs the Clown in. His sensor is really good, too, because I'm, like, so far away from him. Um, I'm not that far away from him, but I was, like, in the street over there. Um, and I thought he wasn't going to go back then. Um, but, like, I'm over here. And the Carly, uh, not Carly, Charlie's sensor is even better. Look. Do them both go. Okay, well, Charlie's done. But Hugs is, uh, Hugs is cool. Hugs is amazing. Probably my favorite clown animatronic, at least that I own. Um, here, let's get a side view of him. Kind of lunges out slow because he fell over a couple hollow beans ago. Um, but that's fine. Um, he's not, like, supposed to be super, like, a super, uh, scary jump scare prop. I think his face is just super creepy. Okay, so, well, so, sorry if they're bothering you, um, while I'm talking, but, uh, we got these gravestones. I put these up a while ago. The, the two ones in the back are from Lowe's. Those are kind of new. Um, but these ones... I put up a long time ago. Um, I think they were in like the first haunt build. And then we got this guy, this thing I painted. Um, it used to be like really stupid. It doesn't look the best. I'm not uh, the best artist, but uh, I think, still think it looks pretty cool. It has a missing eye. Oh, and then we got this guy. 
Um, it's a hanging head. And then this stuff, these lights I got from Home Depot. Oh, shoot. Um, can I just break the light? No, it's fine. Um, we got the lights there. They're going around the easy up. And then Uncle Charlie, I know you've been waiting for me to... What? Is your sensor broken? There we go. Like you were going off from the street and then he wasn't... He was going off like when I was in the street and he wasn't going off when I was in front of him. That's hugs. Okay, well... That's Charlie. You want a side view of you too? Can I do a side view? Charlie! Bruh, can you, like, thank you. When I'm, like, right next to him, he doesn't go. I like how one side of him is lit up, and the other side is just dark. Um, and then we got this gravestone. This one's a little easier to see. Um, it also has light up eyes which, uh, oh, they do work. I'm not gonna leave them on, though, because I'm gonna save them for Halloween. Um, and then this guy, who hit, unlike the uh, animatronics, his sensor sucks. You have to, like, punch him. Not, not punch him. You have to, like, tap him on the, uh, private area, um, to get him to work. Look at hugs. Is he going off because of that light over there? I don't know. Sorry for these lights. They're really annoying. I hope they don't, like, go off too much during the haunt. I wish I had a way to turn them off. Of course they're going to go off. Uh, of course they're going to turn on during the haunt. Um, because people are walking up here. But uh, it's fine, I guess. Um, this guy should not be here. He should be standing up. He doesn't really stay up. Um... I don't know what, why why is our car alarm go, why is our car alarm going off? I don't know. Um, also inside the Easy Up looks cool with the spotlight. Um, and then this stuff, these are like the candy corn, not candy corn. These are like the multicolored lights uh, from Home Depot. But these are from CVS. They're uh, only 70 lights instead of 100 lights like those ones. So it's a smaller strand and it's not as bright. Um, I don't know why. It's just maybe just because it was cheaper. Actually, I think they were the same price as those ones. Home Depot has really good prices. Shop at Home Depot. Um, and then this guy, this little decaying zombie groundbreaker right here. He's like buried in the, in the, um, these, uh, bri uh bricks. Nope, rocks. Um, last year I had him like on this fake grass, but he definitely, um, he definitely does not uh, should not go in the grass because he's like this decaying material. He's supposed to look like he's buried into the ground, like he's coming out of the ground, and he's got like little um, things around his hands uh, that are like super dark. And you can it it looks really stupid uh, uh, on the grass because it's really green because it's fake grass. Um, but he's right here, and he looks pretty cool with the spotlight on him. And we've got um, this little section. This gauze can leave. I don't know why this guy is up here either. Um, and then we've got these lights, which actually... Wow, Hugs the Clown is really having himself a hell of a time. Look. Um, anyway, I was talking about these lights. Um, but they uh, they make sound and they light up. I can just... I don't have to have them make sound. Um because they eventually stop but um th i can just have them just uh lighting up i don't have to have them make sound because the sound is kind of annoying and then right here uh is the dark jester on a swing he's not going to be swinging um but he's just going to be chilling right there i had him there but uh because of the rain we took him in um so but he'll he'll be out there for halloween um and then this angel this crying angel tombstone i got a couple years ago um, and then the skeleton dog with his own foot in his mouth. He used to be standing up and the legs fell off and now we can't get them back on. I, this is one of his legs. So he's chewing his own leg. I don't know where the other leg went, but that's fine. Um, he can be sitting down. And then Skelly, Skelly guy. I don't know. This is a uh, former pirate. Um, he's no longer a pirate except for his hook and peg leg. Um, and the legs of a parrot, the top of the parrot fell off, um, and, uh, you know, the parrot, I guess, you know, that just fell off, I didn't take that off, um, but, um, the, uh, the other stuff, like, the, he had an eye patch, he had, uh, a little, 
and like a bandana here and then another like thing around here and it's like a red ribbon weird i don't know i don't know what it was um but uh i took those off those didn't fall off because i he's not a pirate well he uh, he was a pirate and now he's not he um he just i didn't he, he wasn't supposed to be a pirate he's not a pirate in this theme so uh because pirates don't belong in deathland for some reason and you just pirates don't belong there so um he's there he's on this hook right here and then the be beware skeleton dog with the skeleton dog right in front of it and then these spider webs you know as you can see the rain as i said the rain kind of uh demolished them but uh i can stretch them again uh, and they're all all over here too and then this guy this small little spider he's just chilling in the spider webs and then there's these three skulls and another gravestone which you really can't see then we've got this guy he used to be hanging, and his eyes used to light up. They, they, his eyes were working, like, uh, a couple months ago, and I don't know why it doesn't work anymore. You can't really see him that well. And he always says his phrase twice now. I don't know, he didn't used to do that. But, uh, yeah, that is the, uh, the outside portion of the haunt. The, it is done, um, and it is awesome. And I am I really like how the outside turned out. I'm going to have to bring these guys in. But, uh, you know, it looks really awesome. Here's a shot of it from, like, all the all the way down the street. Uh, it looks really cool. So, sorry for hugs interrupting all the time. You want to say one last goodbye? That's what I thought. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this haunt build. I think there's like two more haunt builds coming, maybe just one more. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this haunt build, and I'll see you in the next one. Let's let the hugs finish, okay? That's nice hugs. You said that lots of times. Okay. Well, again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.